Good evening, President Martinez, Superintendent Taquino, board members, and honored guests. We will be sharing a progress monitoring report this evening for our board goals. A glossary of terms with definitions is provided for your convenience. Board Goal 2 is focused on improving math outcomes for all black students. This evening, we will focus on the interim goals to measure performance towards this overall goal. Please note that the state of Texas has three passing standards for their assessments. Approaches grade level, which reflects a minimum passing standard, meets grade level, which reflects on grade level performance or college ready performance, and master's grade level, which reflects advanced performance. It is important to note that for both our reading and math goals, goals one and two, SAISD has made the choice to hold ourselves to a higher standard than minimum passing and focus on meets or on grade level performance for all of our students. In December, we were able to share student performance on the MAP BOI or beginning of the year assessments. We are now able to share how students did on the MAP MOI or middle of year assessments, which were administered in December and January. The goal to progress monitoring reviews the percentage of all black students at grades three, six, and eight who are projected to perform on grade level or at the meets grade level on STAR. Since the five-year goal for STAR is 50%, the five-year goal for these interim MAP measures is 40%. While SAISD is not on track for the projected interim goals, the district continues to see gains in grades three and six and is striving to meet outlined interim measures. Daily lessons in mathematics continue to be implemented in grades three through algebra one. Similar to reading language arts, mathematics lessons provide both teacher and student facing materials and outline routines and activities for the entire instructional block aligned to evidence-based practices found in Principles to Action and the district instructional frameworks. The lessons also seamlessly integrate strategies that support emergent bilingual students and students with disabilities, as well as promote engagement for all students through intentionally structured conversations and culturally sustaining contexts. Similarly to reading language arts, the academics departments have begun to visit mathematics teachers on every campus to engage in a conversation on the move towards a centralized mathematics curriculum. The current resources being used and their effectiveness are being addressed, including gaps where additional support is needed for planning and implementation. These visits will continue through the spring semester until all campuses have had the opportunity to understand, ask questions, and provide recommendations and step forward towards a centralized curriculum. Next steps also include creating teacher committees to create rubrics that outline the high quality instructional materials needed in math and begin the process of evaluation of available curricula. Next steps for the district include the STAR strategies mentioned in the previous board update, 
to include a focus on implementing culturally sustaining teaching and monitoring system-wide use of the district curriculum. With the continued use of the mathematics daily lessons, there is an increased focus on lesson internalization through the use of a protocol to support effective implementation. These protocols are also best used in the professional learning community setting where teachers can investigate the outlined routines, strategies, and resources together. Professional learning has and continues to be conducted collaboratively with school leadership and academics to provide administrators with content-based knowledge, skills, and tools and support the implementation of high-quality mathematics instruction in every classroom. This learning will continue into the spring with learning walks designed to support campus leaders in monitoring, intervening, and responding to the quality of instruction observed in mathematics classrooms through instructional coaching and clear feedback to teachers. Finally, as outlined in Always Learning, the district continues to engage stakeholders through the Mathematics Advisory Council to identify and address systemic barriers to mathematics achievement of black students. Additionally, the Black Educator Advisory Council has convened an executive board to design the structure for the full council, the cadence of meetings, and the periodic sharing of the work to all stakeholders. The full council will convene for the first time this spring and will provide an update on the work to the board at a future date. This concludes our presentation. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Please let us know if there are any questions or if there's anything that we can help you with.